Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, a lot of rain, I should say a lot of cloud cover today. A little bit of rain from time to time this morning. A view from the village at Meridian. We put this time lapse into motion and pan the skies this afternoon. Still pretty gloomy out there with that cloud cover racing in from northwest to southeast. That will continue throughout the evening, but eventually drier weather is going to work its way in and we will be dry and mild tomorrow. Wait till you see the forecast coming up for tomorrow. Boy, if you want to do some uh, yard work, Tomorrow will be one of those days to do that. Beautiful view of the village at Meridian. It bustles on Tuesday with all kinds of half price deals in different locations, and I should say deals in different locations. Some are half price, I think, at the movies, and the folks are out there ice skating right now. Temperature's not bad 52 degrees. It's just odd. We're a little bit above average now, and after being so cold, it seemed like winter was just going to set it early and stick around, and here we are with temperatures above average now with that 52 degrees. 34 in McCall had snow last night, about six inches of snow falling in McCall, then turning to rain just before noon today, and that's now compacting down to three to five inches or three to four inches. Brundage Mountain had another nine inches of snow. It's softening at the base. Bogus Basin, it's 34 in McCall right now. Bogus Basin had mostly snow showers. Snow last night turning over to rain today. Nothing showing up in the snow. Snow stick there. Tamarack Mountain had uh, snow and then rain at the base again, uh, but ski areas will hopefully get more snow. Unfortunately, there's milder weather coming in. Here's the travel weather for today. Anybody today noticing the stormy weather up near Montana and, of course, central and northern Idaho, poor conditions, but much of the country in great shape for the travel conditions. On Wednesday, this is a story tomorrow. Big storm system going up the East Coast. So, anybody flying through New York City or Philadelphia, rain delays and fog could be some issues here and support travel possible around. Of the Chicago area, but generally speaking, down to the south, it is looking great. And that forecast again for the travel weather on Thanksgiving Day, if you're doing any local travel, just great conditions. Almost the entire nation has good travel weather. No major storm disrupting air travel, which is important because all those connecting flights from one storm system can affect the entire country. And I don't see that happening. Black Friday just looks cold in the east, snow showers in the northern tier, and still dry and pretty mild. There's a chance for showers, I, sh I should say that. There is a chance of showers in southern Idaho here. We'll look at that specific forecast coming up. We now move ahead to Saturday, a big football game in town. Possible shower, sunset at 510, milder than that last game, 43. Temperatures not dropping that much because we have the cloud cover and a threat for showers coming in. 50s right now, real mild from Boise down to the Magic Valley. This will be the story again tomorrow. These rain showers down to the south, there's nothing in the valley here. A few rain showers up to the north. And again, rain and mixed snow showers could push, push through the west central mountains this evening and the first part of tonight, but the drier weather is moving in from the south, high pressure building in. This is going to give us a, just an amazing day tomorrow. Some low clouds and some patchy fog tomorrow morning. This low pressure system going by to the north is pumping that mild weather in, and it will stay mild for Thanksgiving Day, but I think there's a slight chance of some rain showers coming in. Here's tomorrow looking amazing, warm and dry conditions. Look at this travel weather over the blues, no problems. On Thanksgiving Day, a slight chance of some mountain snow showers and rain showers in the Treasure Valley. Then as we push ahead towards Friday, we still have had that lingering rain shower threat, so just keep that in mind. Treasure Valley forecast coming up. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, some patchy fog in the morning, pleasant conditions. Look at these temperatures near 60 in Mountain Home, 55 in Meridian and Boise, some patchy fog on the Western Valley in the morning should give way to the sunshine. Long Valley is going to warm up, melting on the roadways, so good travel if you're heading up into the mountains uh, better than it was last night because it was really snowy. So mild conditions and drier weather moving in for everybody. 50 in Fairfield tomorrow with increasing sun, 44 degrees in Sun Valley. Valley, near 60 in Twin Falls tomorrow with that sunshine. Just amazing weather coming in. My honor side extended forecast. Turkey Day, there's your turkey hiding behind the leaves on Thanksgiving, of course. Which we can now see. You, you can now see. You can't <laughs> hide behind the snow anymore. 57 yeah. degrees. It could be a shower awesome. and a lot of cloud cover Thursday, but 57, uh -huh. way above average. No excuses not to go out for a walk after turkey dinner. Before and after. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, That's true. Well done. Overachiever. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Uh, not really. A calm before an unexpected storm up next. Ferguson, Missouri is on edge again after a night of violence. You're watching today's Six on Your Side.